All right, uh, another NBA talk going on right now. Uh, we have the Chicago Bulls defeating the Milwaukee Bucks to 113 to 110. I mean, six in the second overtime. These teams put in very hard effort. Um, very limited turnovers for the Milwaukee Bucks, which they seem to like to tur make turnovers over the Chicago Bulls, who ended up with 16. Um, Derek Rose playing like Derek Rose of the old. He's staying strong. He's staying consistent. Well, at least from game one and game three. Game two is uh, not that much. Um, he ended up with 34 points uh, with eight assists, uh, 12 out of 23 shooting, five out of nine three-pointers. You have Jimmy Butler right behind him with 24 points, putting up a good defensive effort with two block shots. Paul Gasol. Um, stepping up, and I have been doubting this guy a lot, a little bit. This guy been playing well this whole series defensively. 17 points, 14 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 block shots. Very great. Uh, these guys played a lot of minutes going in. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks, the Green Freak. I'm not going to pronounce his last name because I'm trying to, but Ente Kulepon, oh god, he ended up with 25 points, 12 rebounds, uh, the highest in uh, on the team. You had Milton with 18 points, you had Michael Carter-Williams with 19 points, 9 assists, and you had people, a couple people off the bench too. 15 points coming from Jay Hinson with 9 assists. You have Doug Lee uh, with 11 points. And you have OJ Mayo who didn't do too much. 4 out of 10 off the field. 8 points. So, Chicago 3-0. and Looking like they're going to end up facing uh, Cleveland in the semifinals. So, it's probably going to end up being Chicago, Chicago Bulls versus Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron versus Rose, soon to happen. All right, um, the last match of the night would be um, Golden State versus Portland. Portland is currently in the lead right now, so I'll see you soon.